Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's reading, we're going to discover uh, what is your biggest talent and um, what is your biggest mission. But we're going to focus on your natural qualities and your biggest talents. Uh, maybe, yeah, if there is any professional uh, information about, you know, um, profession or career, I'll bring that out as well. So we have three groups today. Um, this is the first group, group one, with the amethyst. This is group two, with bismuth. And this is group, group three, with citrine. Okay, I'm going to play the symbol three times for you to clear your mind and you can make the choice based on your intuition. Okay, so trust your first intuition your first mind is your best mind uh, you can see the correspondent times down below i'll see you in your group hi group one you have chosen this amethyst let's first take a look at this card waxing crescent moon okay i don't know why i feel your energy is really broad it's like you have a big heart you have a big mind, you have a big heart. And you can see a lot of potentials. You can see potentials that normally normal people don't see. Um, and you're very intuitive. You have visions, you're visionaries. Yeah, this is what I'm getting so far. And also, I feel you are really good at planning things. Um, you're kind of like an inventor, innovator. It's like, um, even though nothing is happening at the surface, but you can see what's going on behind the scene. You can see what's going on, you know, behind the surface. You can see something really deep and you can see a lot of, uh, like tendencies. You can per, uh, you can forecast a lot of things. You know, something is coming. You just know. And you're ahead of time. You're ahead of the majority of the people. You have really good judgments. It's because you have a big mind. You have a big heart. You have a big vision. You see potentials. You're very imaginative. I don't know why. I feel three of wands energy. Three of wands. I don't know if you're Iris. Especially if you have uh, Midheaven, which is a uh, tenth house. Iris. Yeah. Let's see. What is um, Group One's biggest talent? What is Group One's biggest talent? Okay, yeah. Exactly. Your visionaries. You're very imaginative. Yes, you are very good at making things happen. You see potentials. You are very good at noticing things, seeing potentials, and actually working towards it. You have a vision. You have a goal. You make things happen. Anything to do with planning, uh, anything to do with brainstorming, you have a lot of inspirations. That is anything to do with this. You're good at it. Yeah. Ace of Cups. You're very, very intuitive and imaginative. Um, so there's an advice coming through for group one. Please don't doubt yourself because most of the time you're right. You know you are right. Sometimes you might have to explain to other people. <clears throat> but deep down, you know you are right. You have to believe in your own visions. And a lot of times you might think, am I just going crazy? Crazy? Am I just, you know, uh, dreaming too big? Am I just in hallucinating things? Hallucinating things? Trust, yeah, just trust yourself. And actually, um, you know, when you have a vision, don't doubt that. Believe in that vision and 
then try to figure out how to make that happen. Because I feel you, it's like you see the destination first. You don't necessarily how to get there, but you're right. So if you believe that you will get your destination, then what's what you are going to do is just to find the way and please be patient with yourself. I feel you have big manifestation powers. It's it's just a the manifestation this pro process might take longer than you expect. So you have to be patient, you have to do a lot of planning. You have to do a lot of planning. But I feel you're very diligent. You will work towards your goal. You will get there. And also, and also I feel for this group, you have to um, pay attention to your communication because you see the end goal first. You see the bl blueprint first. You see the big picture first. Sometimes people don't have um people don't have the vision people don't have uh, uh, the same wisdom as you um uh, might need a little bit of proof or might need a little bit bit of patience might need a little bit of um explanation um so communication is key because you can't do everything by yourself for this group i feel you are kind of a loner you want to do everything by yourself because you think it's the easiest way you don't have to explain to other people you know sometimes people just drag you down but um we we live in society so communication with other people is very important for you communication is very important in general but for you i feel um this is you know particularly important What's more for group one? Yes, the lovers. For group one, what is group one's biggest talent? Yes, justice. You make very good decisions, the sun. Yes, five of cups. You make very good decisions. You have so good judgment. It's like you don't confuse a lot. You don't confuse a lot, I feel. Whenever you are, whenever, um, whenever, however, whatever, you are very clear about everything. It's like you you don't get confused a lot because you just know the answer. It's like you're always guided. You're always connected with the with the higher self. You're always guided by the universe. You always see the truth. But communication is really. I feel sometimes it bothers you because. The lovers here, I feel it's more of communication. And a lot of time people might, a lot of times people might think you are cold hearted. It's just because you see the facts, you see the truth, um, and you just deliver it in a very direct way. And sometimes people, some, sometimes some people don't get this or people prefer a subtle way or people, I don't know, it's just... I feel it's important to deliver your message in a way that other people who are not as intelligent as you can understand. Because you are very direct, you're very bright, you're very quick. Yeah. Actually, um, for this group, I don't know if you work in legal, legal domain, like something with law. It might be good for you or let me see so anything with planning i feel you have a leadership quality yes you have leadership quality um you know what's right and i feel for you whenever there is a crisis you do best in crisis it's like when some emergency happens this is this is when you can deliver the best performance or uh, when in crisis, people just panic, but you don't panic. I feel for this group, you never panic. It's not you never panic, but most of the time you can keep calm. You can keep, uh, you know, um, you can contain yourself. You can think straight. You can think clearly. So anything to do with, you know, uh, I feel you work with your mind. This is what I'm getting here. Anything to do with mind, intelligence, um, logic you're very logical as well 
uh, you're quite artistic as well, but I feel it's your judgment, your mind, um, it's your brain is your asset. This is what I'm getting here. Um, what's more? What is group one's biggest talent? What's group one's biggest talent? Yeah, losing your grip. Yeah, exactly. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction that got in. You're very good at management roles. Any management role, I feel. Because you are very good at maintain things, keep things in order. Because you are very organized. You yourself is very organized. And you are very intelligent. You are very... It's like you are very tidy. You keep everything very tidy. You have high expectations, high standards for yourself and for other people. But sometimes you need to loosen your grip. Sometimes you need to leave a margin for things to have some changes. Um, I feel for you, you're definitely perfectionism, perfectionist. So sometimes it's it's important to loosen your grip. Exactly, literally loosen your grip. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. I feel because you're like this, so a lot of times you just want to be alone. You don't want to be bothered by other people because they just slow you down or you are tired to explain yourself to other people. But actually what's important, I feel, is cooperation. I don't know why I feel the next phase of your life, the next chapter or what's coming for you. Um, is you're going to collaborate with people. You have to let people in. You're going to, I feel for this group, you're going to start partnerships, you're going to start cooperations, you're going to start collaborations with other people. So be mindful of your communication style. Um, be direct, but also be warm. Let other people feel that you are not just cold facts you're not just statistics your emotions as well did just show other people's your emotions this is what's very important and also don't try to control everything nothing is perfect this is what you need to know one last card for group one you are living poetry Be fluid, be flexible. Um, three plus two is five. I feel a lot of things are going to change in your life. This is a five as well. Two of pentacles as well. For, uh, for this group, I feel something is coming in. Something is about to change. Yes, you're so shy. Something is about to change. What's important is you don't control everything. Because sometimes the universe works the way. Not exactly how you want it, but you have to let, you know, higher power in. You have to be flexible, be fluid, like water, you know. Um, I don't know, doing yoga or something like this might help you. Yeah. Expect good change. Expect big, happy changes. This is what I'm getting here. Um, be open-minded. Don't turn down any opportunity. Give anything a chance. Um, don't, you know, control too much. Leave a margin. Leave a blank blank, there for something unexpected to happen, for some surprises to come in. Um, okay, so this is the message for group one. I hope you find some answers or inspirations in this reading. Um, uh, I don't do personal readings. You can read my disclaimer. Um Comment, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. I will see you next time. Take care. Hi, group two. Um, let's see the card you have chosen. Lily, oh my god. You are you are psychic. Your biggest talent is your psychic abilities. Your biggest talent is your um you are manifester. Um your magician, your hypersis, your biggest talent is your psychic in abilities. I don't know if you choose group one, but I feel the energies are a little bit similar. Um, but I feel you're very mysterious. Uh, you can keep secrets. And also, you're very sexy. I feel a lot of sexual energy. Um, 
I feel you have a very prominent eight house. And you are very intuitive. It's like your intuition. It's like you build your life based on your intuition. But I sense a lot of fear as well. You're very artistic as well for this group. I feel the uh, the difference between this group and the first group is you are more artistic. Your energy is more directed towards creative field. You're more artistic. and But also I feel you have a lot of fear. Um, because you're so imaginative, you have a lot of visions, you have a lot of images in your head. Um, be careful of what you consume. What I mean is be careful of the images, the sound, um, the information you consume because you are very affected, you're very easily affected by by what you consume. Food as well. You're very, very sensitive. Let's see more. Let's see more. Group two. What is the biggest talent of group two? Yes, a will of fortune. Yeah. Wow. You're so powerful. Group two. Definitely. I, I feel some of you, you actually practice magic. And some of you, I feel you can be tarot readers and astrologers. And you will make good money doing this. Um. Yeah, some some people, you are just, you're, you are literally psychics. And you make a living by being a psychic. Um, yeah, it's, you know, you know everything, you know, um, the law of the universe, you know, what's fate, you know, how fate works, you know, how karma works. And, um, for a lot of you, I feel if you, uh, don't want to direct your energies being a psychic and make a living, you can actually create everything, your own business. You can be so wealthy. Whatever you do, I feel you are a boss. You can create your own empire. You can create your own business and build everything from the ground. And you will be so successful. Because you learn everything so quickly. And you already know the law of the karma. You, you already know the law of the universe. Um, what you learned about spirituality, you can use that. Apply that to this 3D realm and create everything you want. Yeah, temperance. You are guided and helped by the universe because you are i feel you are um you come from a higher vibration you're definitely an old soul mm, for this group i feel for you there's one important person who is your ultimate soulmate you will create something together so for the, this group the message is, is very special i feel there's someone particular i feel it's more like a romantic partner with this person two of you together will build an empire doing what you love you have same interests you have same goals same values you have same life purpose together you will create something so powerful you will it's like emperor and empress power couple energy build an empire together it's fated i don't know this group is very very it's like your fate is unique. You have a bigger mission. You have... I feel you are sometimes outside of the world. Yeah. And for you, I feel... Um, it's like you attract money. You attract abundance. You have this... You're like a magnet. You will, you will never be poor for a long time. It's like... The wheel of fortune is always turning for you because you know what is energy. You can manipulate energy. You know what is energy. You know how it works. So abundance always is attracted by you. You can attract abundance without any problem. And love as well. You know what is true love. You, I don't know why. You might do something. It's like your career, your destiny, your life purpose has something to do with love. True love has something to do with fate, has something to do with the law of the universe, has something to do with, you know, astrology or philosophy, religion, um, art, 
something like this. What's more for group two? What is the biggest talent of group two? And this alter, alter, ultimate soulmate, you have a past life connections, many past lives together with the latest. It's like you recognize this person. I feel a lot of you, you know who I'm talking about. You recognize per this person from the first moment you met this person. It's like your past, past life memories is triggered because you are fated. It's like you, even though, okay, for some of you, you don't know who I'm talking about because this person is not yet in your life right now. But you will meet this person because this love is fated. This divine love is divinely orchestrated. You are meant to do something together with this person. And you are going to meet this person through your career. If you follow your dream, if you follow your true passion, if you make your true true passion a career, you will definitely meet this person and reun reunite with this person. Because this is this is a fated love, and the, and this love has a purpose, has a life purpose. Yeah. What is the biggest talent of group two? Yes, Ace of Pentacles. Business, businessman, business, business woman here. Uh, your biggest talent is you're a survivor. You will survive any situation. Yes, you will survive any situation. You will always, always survive. And nothing can destroy you. Nothing can destroy you. You will always rise up. N nothing can bring you down. And I feel you have gone through so, so much with the Knight of Wands and Four of Swords. You have gone through so, so much, but again, you rise up. You see, Wheel of Fortune and this round pentacle, you are definitely a self-made, <clears throat> a self-made person. You can create everything by yourself. You're, you have your own empire. And this life, you're going to witness a success a success story. Like, I don't know, like Steve Jobs, like Elon Musk, I can think of this person, this kind of people. You are self-made. Nothing can bring you down. Your life is full of upside, ups and downs. Most of the people, they can't even hold the pressure. And you are very, I feel for you, you can handle any pressure. Nothing can bend, bend you down. Um, you can hold anything. It's like you're so resistance. You're so really release uh, re resilience. Yeah, resilient. Um, and you're persistent. And you're very flexible. You have, you have faith. You're very faithful. You have faith. You have hope. You always trust a higher power. You have faith in yourself. You have faith in the universe. So every time people people think this time you might not you might not get up, but you surprise everyone. It's like this this kind of scenario this kind of scenarios just repeat again and again in your life story because you're a survivor. And I feel your life story is very interesting. We can see that in films, we can see that you know, in novels, you are those kind of people who maybe write films. You are the kind of people who make films. For this group, you can be filmmakers as well. Yeah. Or writers. Because I feel the people, the stories people love to hear, the, pe the stories people love to watch are the stories you create or the stories you have experienced. Because your life is so dramatic, full of upside downs. But... You know, you survive. You rise up. What's more for group two? What is the big... Okay. We have two cards for you. I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing, past wrongs, uprooting. You have a lo lot of karmic debts. I, this is what I feel. Jumping, ador adromedon, adromedon, andromedon. I don't know how to pronounce that energy. 
adventurous years to change. Something is about to change. Like I was saying, I feel your life is a constant changing. Your life is constant changing. Your life is full of upside downs. Your life is full of dramas. Your life is like stocks, you know, like stocks, like the the stock market. You know, it's crazy. Normal people cannot handle the pressure, but you can, because. Because I feel you are someone that is so unique, you are protected, you are guided, and I feel you're here just to experience what is the richest human experience. You have a lot of karmic debts, but I feel something is about to change because, with the Four of Swords, with the Nine of Wands, and with the Ace of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune, um, mm, something will happen for you. Uh, it's like you have done a lot of inner work. You have been through the dark night of the soul. You have. It's like the karmic chains cannot hold you back anymore. You are free now. Something is about to happen with the Ace of Pentacles here. Star family, you are part of a team of souls calling support. You are going to meet your soul family. You are going to meet your soul family. Some of you, you are going to have a new career. Some of you... You're going to start a new project. Some of you, you're going to relocate. I don't know. For a lot of you, I feel it's energetically. You're upgrading. Something new is about to happen. It's like your life. You transformed. It's like you, you were dead. And then you're reborn again. Um, what do you two need to know? Cozy up with risk. Yes, you are someone that is... Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. You are someone that is so good with taking risks. You you can handle risks that normally most of the people cannot handle. Your life is full of risks. But, you know, you because you want transformation. So every time you take risk because you want to transform yourself. Because you want this nirvana. Um, something is about to happen. It requires you to maybe take a leap of faith with the jumping card as well. Adventurous, yes, to change. So any opportunity that is coming in, you feel there's a potential. Grasp, grasp, grip this opportunity. Grasp this opportunity because I feel sometimes you need to, you have to take a risk to get what you want because this is written in your destiny. Yeah, the secret flow of yes. I don't know, for this group, I feel some opportunity, fated event, um, a very, very important um, opportunity is going to come in. Um, just say yes, accept it, because it will change your life forever. And you have waited this for so long. It looks dangerous, you might get a little bit overwhelmed, but it's going to change your life for the good, okay? So this is what I'm get uh what I'm getting for group two. I really hope uh this video give you some inspirations. Yes, uh, let me know. I don't do personal readings. You can read my disclaimer and comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. Let's see the card, Libra. Um, you're very beautiful. <laughs> this is definitely a talent because. Um, beauty has something to do with beauty is ruled by Venus. I feel your Venus is very prominent in your chart. Some people you could have Venus in your first house or seventh house or fourth house or tenth house. Maybe you have a career surrounded with beauty, surrounded um, beauty, something to do with beauty, something to do with art, maybe. And for this group, I feel your biggest talent is to um, build relationships you're very good at relationships you're very good at cooperation you're very good at communication you're very good at compromising but getting what you want you're very good with people you have very good interpersonal skills and you're very good at balancing um you're naturally beautiful you're very charming you're very charming people love you um people love you no matter how long people know you maybe they just know you they love you 
People have known you for a long time. They could count on you. They still love you. Whatever you do, I feel for this group. Whatever you do, maybe the best career for you is something to do with people. You you give better performance when you work with other people, than you work alone. Yeah. Or you can be good at design, designing, or some people could work with cosmetics, some people could work with fashion. Um, but for a lot of you, I don't know, maybe you work in PR marketing. I don't know, I just feel you are very good at um, bringing balancing energies to people. Your Your energy feels very sweet, very comfortable, very soothing non-aggressive very warm it's like the fresh air people love to be around you people love to talk to you you can let other people trust you other people definitely trust you yeah and it's like you never hurt other people you always have good intentions towards other people you always have a good heart that's why people love you you're never, it's like most of the times, you're never aggressive. You can, you have really, really balanced temper. You know what to say, when to say. Yeah. Let's see, what is, okay. Yeah. What is the biggest, mm, okay. Exactly. We have Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Sun. Yes, I feel you're, <laughs> you're the center of the attention. People look up to you. People count on you. You're like this teacher. Yeah, you see? Three of Cups. Um, you're like this teacher to a lot of, to a lot of friends, to a lot of people. And people definitely count on you because you have a sense of responsibility. You always deliver your promises. You never, it's like you never cheat, you never lie. You're very honest. You're very bright. You're very optimistic. You're very energetic. This is what I'm getting at as well. You're very talkative. You know what to say. You know when to say. You know what is the right thing to say. You know how to be around with other people. Every Everyone who is around you will feel your energy is so happy, is so optimistic, is so positive. And it's like you always look at the bright side. You're very, very optimistic. And you're very lighthearted. Definitely you take things seriously, but I don't feel you're, you're someone that is, you know, um, like something happened, you will dwell in that sadness for a long time and go to depression. I don't think you're this kind of energy. I feel you will talk it out. Um, you will take this experience as a lesson to learn. And also, I feel it's like people will always seek advice from you. They trust your judgment. They, they trust your guidance. You're very wise. You can give advice to other people. Some of you, I feel you can be teachers, professors, teachers, tutors like this. And um, you are definitely good students as well. You learn very fast. Yeah, for this group, I feel your biggest talents involves learning and teaching. You learn very fast. You're good with we are good with your interpersonal skills. You're good with your words. You're very good at communication, and you are very charming. It's like your personal appeal. It's just, it's just it can take over other people. Yeah. And you, I feel in any situation, you can see, you can see the balance. I feel for you, you are really good at working in a organization, in an organization, or even the bigger the organization is, better it is for you. You're very good at relationships and even, you know, office politics. Yeah, for you, I feel maybe you're good at politics as well. You can work in, you can definitely work in political stuff. Um, you're good with, you're good with relationships with your, you know, higher, 
um, with people that is senior th that are senior than you, or with people that are more experienced or higher than you, and you are also good with people who are lower than you, who are junior than you. Office job might be really really good for you as well because you can definitely, you know, it's easy, it's easy for you. What's more? For group three, what is group three's biggest talent? Yes, the magician. Communication skills. Yes, beauty. The Empress Five of Swords. Yes. Um, I don't know. I feel for this group. Yeah, it of it of wants. Communication skills is something that is, you know, so stressed, so addressed by these cards. Um, and also, I feel for this group, what you do, you need to put yourself in front of people. I don't know what you do, but this is the message. This is the advice coming from the cards. I feel whatever you do, you have to make yourself seen. You have to put yourself out there you have to let people see you see your face see your body see your beauty see your looks see your fashion see your appearances and you're very good at um resolving conflicts you're very good at dealing with all different sorts of people with different backgrounds and personalities And for some of you, I I feel you could definitely be some like influencers or actors. Yeah, actors, influencers, um, pu public speakers, teachers, someone that people can see you, someone that speak in front of people. You definitely need an audience. This is what I'm getting here. Whatever you do, you have to engage with other people. More the more the bigger your audience is, better your career is. This is what I'm getting. Your looks, your uh, uh, physical appearances is very important in your career development. I feel for a lot of you, you you might have Libra in your ascendant, Libra with your, uh, you might have Libra ascendant or you have Taurus ascendant or you have Gemini ascendant, or you have Venus in your first house. People know you by your voice. People know you by your beauty, by your face, by your body, by your fashion, by your style. Yeah. Yes. Um. Let's see. What else for group three? What is group three? Okay. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. I don't know if you speak different languages. For some of you, I feel you can speak different languages. And also, I feel you, you are like a bridge. You connect people. You connect different people. Sometimes you are a bridge of different cultures. Sometimes you are a bridge of different parties. Sometimes you're, you're like the middle, the mid, middle person that dealing with all different parties and different interests and balance everything out. Integration time. It's like you can bring people together. You can bring different components together. You're like this glue. So I feel for you, um, also you might have a very strong 11 health because I feel whatever you do, you need a community. You need connections. You need social networking. You need um, friends and you need, a, you know, your audience. A follow your you need followers this is what i'm getting yeah i feel you're very good at dealing relationships for group three be spontaneous and i feel for group three i don't know why i feel you need to invest in your outlooks you need to invest in your beauty consider your your beauty as an investment because the beautiful you are the more beautiful you are 
more successful you are. This is a very special message here. And you're also, also for this group, I feel you learn everything so fast and you're very, what's that word? Multifaceted? Um, it's like, I, I, I lost that word. It's like, you can dance, you can sing, you can paint, you can run, you can, you know, you have a lot of skills, you have a lot of talent. You're very good at performing. Performing arts might be good for you. And I feel you're just very talented. You learn everything, everything so quickly. So you you need to put yourself out there. You need to let other people see you. Okay, so what's your group three? You need to know. Integrate your knowing. This is crazy. Integrate your knowing. Integration time. So I feel for a lot of you, actually, you can do anything you want because you are so skillful. You are so talented because you are so, you're a quick learner. You learn everything so fast and you can perform. Um, so whatever you want to do, you can do a good job. And integrate your knowing, I feel it's, you're very, you're like a shift, shift a shape shifter. You can, you're like a chameleon. Yeah, you can be anything you want. And you can bring people together. I feel, I don't know why I feel for this group, your career path is very unique. Don't follow other people's path because you will have your own path. And you, it's like, you know, a lot of different stuff and you put them together. It's like, you are the good, you are the cook. You have a lot of different ingredients so you can make your own food. So you're kind of unique. So don't follow any people's path because you are this magician. You are this empress. You need to have a look, have a check of what you have right now as skills, as talents. If you're confused with your career development, you can do this. And also don't underestimate yourself. I feel you have big potentials. Yeah, creator fire. A lot of you, you could have um, 10th house in Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Yeah. Okay, so I feel this is pretty much for group three. Um, I hope this video helps you, inspires you. Um, I don't know. Do I don't do personal readings. Please read my disclaimer, and uh, let me know what you think. Comment, share, like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.